my secret lab. <laughs> Don't just sit there on your gluteus maximus, Kent. I uh, what? It's Latin for butt. To be exact, it's the large muscle you're sitting on while you watch JD do all the hard work. Don't look at me. Your brother begged me to ride with him. <clears throat> yeah, it's true, sis. All this exercise burns calories as heat, so I perspire to cool down, allowing my auto-absorption helmet to capture my sweat. Is that some kind of gross experiment? <clears throat> experiment? <laughs> nah, I just like sweat. And that is totally disgusting. <clears throat> Like Mr. Edison says, genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. And I've already collected a full bottle. Bleah, I'm poisoned. 3.2 miles at 9 miles per hour. You should have arrived seven seconds ago. Sorry. I didn't account for the added weight of the sweat. It's been 17.5 minutes since I got the emergency call from Vincent and Louise. They got to Rattlesnake Rock, but don't know how to get back. We've only got four hours to find them before nightfall. No worries, Nikki. I've got a compass app. Hmm, let's just see your cute little map. Match the map's orientation with my compass so we can find Rattlesnake Rock. We're here, so we go that way. Guys, brainstorm time! I'll take pictures of the rescue and post them on the Secret Lab website. Great idea. With thinking like that, we'll double our downloads, triple our tweets, and hike our likes. Smile! Yes! 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 Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, that's good. We've got to get going! Sure, sis. Battery's dead now anyway. What? Chillax. I'll just download another Compass app. <whistles> oh, no bars. Now you've done it, JD. Vincent and Louise are lost and we need a Compass to find them. Hey, I know. The secret lab has almost everything a scientist could think of. There must be a Compass there. <whistles> Nothing in the supply room. Mr. Edison might know where one is. Von Bolt, activate Alva! Yeah, commencing Edisonian projection sequence in fly, fly, fine. Hello, Mr. Edison. Now, how can I help you budding geniuses today? Do you have a compass? Right here, Angie. This draftsman's compass came in very handy when I was designing the first light bulb. Not that kind of compass, Mr. Edison. The magnetic kind. Ah, yes. I have that right. Wait, wait. Von Bolt borrowed it to sail his toy boat in the bathtub. Yeah, and it was a glorious sailing adventure. But my ship sank, including, uh, your compass. <gasps> what if I whip up a new one? I need a magnet and a metallic pointer like on this pocket watch. Seems there are a few bugs in the assembly process, yeah? <laughs> but I did prove the old saying, time flies. Indeed. Time is really the only capital that any human being has and the thing he can least afford to waste or lose. Speaking of wasting time, there's only three hours and 37 minutes left to find my friends before nightfall. Do we really need a compass? I have an excellent sense of direction. What's our compass heading, Navigator? Compass? I don't need no stinking compass. Capitan, we discovered America! Remind me to replace you with a GPS, Fabio. On second thought, having a compass is a very good idea. Maybe we can make one. I'm up for that. Where do we start? 
Well, I happen to know that the compass was invented in China. Our buddy Chang is Chinese. Maybe he can help. Hey, hey Chang! Me how, my fellow secret lovers? Want to see my kicking invention? The Wi-Fi DJ glove. Excellent for making kung fu mashups. Oh, yeah. I'll kick to that. <laughs> what? I don't need music. Cheng, what do you know about compasses? The first ones were made of lodestone, a natural rock made of magnetite that's magnetic and attracts iron. Wow! Imagine someone discovering the very first magnetic rock. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with your compass. Sai Jin. Got any lodestone around here, Von Bolt? Nine. It went down the drain with my ship. But we need something to magnetize our compass needle so it points north. Why does being magnetic make a compass needle point north anyway? The needle lines up with the Earth's magnetic field. Oh, oh, I knew the Earth had a magnetic field. And that's because molten metal circulates deep underground and creates electrical currents that wrap around the Earth. Awesome, isn't it? <gasps> hey, let's check it out through the virtual reality window. I shall throw the switch with virtual ecstasy. The Earth's magnetic field coming right up. Dudes, these are some swaggy magnetic waves. Whoa, 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 my surfboard has a mind of its own. Not a mind, Kent, a magnetic field. All magnets have them. And here in virtual reality, we can actually see them. <laughs> and since the Earth is like a giant magnet with north and south poles, it also has a magnetic field. A compass points north because its magnetic field lines up with the Earth's own magnetic field. Like a weather vane lines up with the wind. Whoa! This must be the North Pole. Dude, there are two North Poles. One at the top of the Earth, called True North, and one at the top of the Earth's magnetic field. That's Magnetic North. So that means we'll have to make a slight adjustment when we look for Rattlesnake Rock so we don't get lost. Exactly, Kent. <laughs> Bumpo, show us how to make our own compass. We will need a bar magnet, a piece of cork, a sewing needle, a water bottle, a pair of scissors, and a marker pen. First, magnetize the needle. I'll pass the magnet over it from the eye to the tip 20 or more times. And remember to lift the magnet each time. Rubbing it back and forth won't work. Why always in the same direction? Our universe is made up of trillions of tiny spinning atoms with north and south poles just like the spinning Earth. <laughs> in objects that aren't magnetized, the atoms point in all directions. But when you rub a magnet over metal in just one direction, <sighs> The atoms are attracted to the magnet and line up with their north ends all in the same direction. <laughs> That's what magnetizes it. Next, we cut a coin-sized piece of cork. <laughs> and insert the magnetized needle. Okay, needle point north. How come it's not moving? Friction! The resistance to movement when two things are rubbed together. The table creates too much friction on the cork so it can't spin. That's why we need water. It has very little friction. Will it work with sweat? <sighs> Just use the water. <gasps> we built a compass! It's pointing north! Wait a minute, something's wrong. It's pointing at Van Bolt's butt! Uh, correction, gluteus maximus. Hmm, must be the electromagnetic gyroscope I put in Von Bolt's posterior to keep him upright. Of course! Compasses don't work properly near strong magnetic fields! Then I will graciously turn off my gyro and... 
wicked face plant, dude. It was my pleasure. It's pointing north now. And we've only got two hours and 53 minutes left to find my friends. North is right that way. I'll align my compass indicator to north. Rattlesnake Rock is right that way. Oh, Nikki. How did you find us? With science. Uh, you guys must be really thirsty. Here, have a bottle. No, stop. It's sweat. What are you doing, Kens? It's just water. But your helmet thingy, the perspiration. <laughs> that was just water you drank. <laughs> I owned you, dude. Come on, everyone. Let's snap some shots for the website. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This one is going viral. Uh, uh, guys, did my battery just die or is this show over? For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.